fast and furious, the action here on field 15. Now turning our sights to our men's cup playoff quarterfinal in the U23 division. It is Oasis out of San Diego there in the white, trimmed in a light blue and yellow. Ball in hand going from left to right. Aside from Southern California taking on Gorilla Rugby in the multicolored black, pink, and yellow tops. Men from Texas going from right to left. In our newest division added just this year, expanding with the U23 division, has the NAI 7s. Gorilla, they won the Freetail 7s back on New Year's Eve in 2019 down in Austin, Texas. A very talented side, as is Oasis. We've seen impressive stuff from both of them. Both have a ton of speed, maybe a bit more power, maybe a bit more physical is the Gorilla side. Just from what I've seen of these two sides yesterday in pool play. That should make for a great matchup here. Oasis with it back inside their own half, trying to find a bit of room. Yeah, I mentioned those Gorilla jerseys. Those are certainly some fan favorites, broadcaster favorites as well. Oasis. Trying to find something, going to the blind side, back with number 11, so dangerous, ball in hand. Oh, able to tightrope the touch line, did not step out as the assistant was right there on the spot. Saw him, didn't put a toe on the chalk. And now what the men from San Diego can do, their number four is outstanding yesterday, and he is going to get things underway. Great team try. They went through the phases, and ultimately... Their danger man, one of the danger men, number four, was so good yesterday, ball in hand, finds the opening try, two and a half minutes in. And credit Oasis. They had the ball on that top touch line. They were able to skirt it. They brought it here to the near side, quickly going through hands. And number four got it, and that man knows what to do with it as the conversion is up and good. Seven to nothing, Oasis on top. Oasis back with it, ball in hand, already on top. They've already found the opener. They're looking for more, and who else but big number four. Oh, what a one-handed offload there. Able to find a teammate underneath the would-be tackle and right into the hands of number six, who gets the final fend and dots it down. And Oasis finds another try, 12 to nothing. A beautifully worked try right there. There's outstanding work. And a conversion to come. to nothing, Oasis on top, five minutes in, her men's U23 quarterfinal. And it's been an impressive showing from the men from San Diego thus far. 
We dominated possession and the scoreboard reflecting just that. What can Guerrilla Rugby get going? They're gonna have to find something quickly and a chance here is the whistle going against the Southern Californians. A dangerous side, but have not had the chance to show it off. Over the halfway, over the 10 meter, just shy of the halfway line. And the whistle against the men from San Diego. Turned over again, Gorilla. Not doing themselves any favors. The handling errors mounting. Oh, what an offload. And it may be try time yet again. It's going to be a race. A little flip over a beautifully run support line from Oasis. And that is how you run support. On the spot, close but not too close. And just a perfectly weighted little pass over the top of the defender into the outstretched hands. And number 12, all he had to do was take it. Turned on the Jets, and it is now 17 to nothing Oasis. Final few minutes here of the first half. What a display thus far. Conversion up and good. 19 to nothing. First half dominated by Oasis, and they will take the kickoff. They saw Gorilla was back, a perfectly weighted kick on the restart. And what a first half display from the men from San Diego. They're gonna find the offload there, and they are not content with the lead. They want more before that halftime whistle sounds. Little grubber kick through, able to get there. Just shy of the try line. Oasis clearing the ruck. What do they do in this situation? Add the number four, number two electing to keep things in his own hands. Across, waiting for the signal. No, held up. Wonderful job from Gorilla. As the halftime whistle sounds and a bright spot to end the first half for Gorilla, but it's Oasis leading 19 to nothing at half.
back underway. Start of the second half in our men's U23 Division quarterfinal oasis. Out of San Diego there in the white in control as they lead Gorilla Rugby from Texas. 19 to nothing. Gorilla looking to change that early here in the second half. Track down from behind Oasis with the tackle, but it will be a knock on against Gorilla. A massive try saving tackle there. Well, impressive stuff. Oasis not just on attack, but in defense as well. Oh, big push in the scrum from Gorilla. But it's Oasis again on the attack, looking for that support line, and they have it. Already leading 19 to nothing. Pinged for not releasing the ball carry after being tackled. Did not let go of it. And Gorilla, if they're going to find a way into this one, they need to do so quickly. Time not on their side. Gorilla doing themselves no favors. They're taking their time and why not? They have the lead. Take as much time as they can off the clock. The wise thing to do in this situation. Oh, well, here comes Gorilla into the open field, able to get the offload. Support coming a bit slow. So players down on the pitch. A physical match. Exhaustion starting to take its toll. Offload, able to find the big number five. He gets the fend and he is headed for the line. He'll be drugged down shy. Rolling across, but knocked on. Couldn't retain possession. We will have a scrum now. It's been an impressive performance from Oasis. What a job by those men and busy day in the world of rugby. Obviously we have the Olympics going on over in Japan. British and Irish Lions touring South Africa, taking on the Spring Bucks. And here domestically, Major League Rugby, it is the semifinals. We will have the Eastern Conference semifinals tonight. So rugby ATL hosting Rugby United New York, and then tomorrow, LA hosting Utah. There'll be a lot of eyes on the Warriors in that one. We'll see which sides get to show up on CBS August the 1st. Chance to hoist that shield in MLR. 
Right now the focus here on Salt Lake City's Regional Athletic Center. As Oasis in control, 19 to nothing over Gorilla. San Diego side leading in this U23 semi, or excuse me, quarterfinal. Let's not jump the gun, but the way things are going, I think it is safe to say you can probably book Oasis' spot in the semifinals. Little time left and a 19 to nothing advantage. We will have a semifinal coming up, our girls U18 semifinal. A match to follow here on field 15. Not releasing after being tackled, the Gorilla Ball Carrier didn't release, didn't let go of the ball. So Oasis back with it. Oh, huge tackle there. Maybe a bit of frustration being exercised on the part of Gorilla Rugby. And it's been a frustrating match for the Texans. Oasis came out on the front foot back and forth early, but they've ultimately been able to find the only points in this one. Beautiful offload, has support there. Oh, number three, couldn't pull it off the shoe tops. I don't know that that will have any effect on this final score. Maybe one last scrum before that referee blows the whistle to end it. And if Oasis can win this scrum, you'd imagine all they'd have to do is send it to touch. Again, our under-18 girls' cup semifinal coming up next. Go to them, go to them, go to Here in our U23 quarterfinal. Gorilla, they will take it the length of the pitch and dot it down. Their first points of the match coming at the very end. That will not be enough to alter the final outcome, but they do get on the board and erase the goose egg by their side. The conversion up and good as the final whistle blows as Oasis' impressive performance on the side from San Diego will 